The following video is a demonstration of a trust structure modifying robot developed at Cornell's Computational Synthesis Lab. The robot is designed such that it is able to remove trust components from one end of a trust structure and move them to another, allowing it to reconfigure the original structure into an entirely new shape. Here we can see version 1 of the robot successfully traversing a chair-like structure. It uses three basic motion primitives to accomplish that. One, shown here, is a 90 degree rotation along a vertical beam. The second motion primitive, shown here, allows the robot to flip 180 degrees over a beam. The third motion is simple traversal across a beam, which is shown in both the horizontal and vertical plane. Here we see version 2 of the robot successfully traversing and disassembling a vertical square structure. It uses reflectivity sensors on its base to identify the reflective line shown in the video. This allows it to ascertain its relative position and therefore to autonomously move around and disassemble the structure. We can see here that the robot is able to self-write its translation angle as it moves across the horizontal beam. The robot navigates both up and down and across the beams using bidirectional gears both on the robot and on the truss structure. The robot is able to latch on to the beams it wishes to remove, write them into an orthogonal position, and use its rotational mechanism to unscrew them from the connector. Here we see the robot performing a simple truss reconfiguration. In this example, the robot grabs on with its rotational mechanism, unscrews the beam from its connector, therefore unlocking it, moves back using its translational mechanism, and then moves the beam back to the original location and re-screws it into place using the rotational mechanism again. The robot is able to determine where it needs to move to using the reflectivity sensors on its base. In this more complex example, the robot removes the horizontal beam by first unscrewing it with its rotational mechanism, lifting up a vertical beam using its translational mechanism on the other side of the robot, rotating 90 degrees, moving back down to the point where its reflectivity sensor tells it to stop, and then screwing the beam back into place into its new position. The robot uses a novel 3D printed bidirectional gearing system that allows it to easily traverse around, disassemble, and reassemble the truss structure. The translational mechanism uses a cam that allows it to engage the translational motor that propels it along a beam. Similarly, the rotational mechanism also uses a cam as well as a gear ratio to engage the bar in the opposite direction and rotate along it. The truss is designed to allow the robot to easily grab onto it using its gears and to arrest direction in the motion opposite in which the robot is trying to move. It uses robot lockable connectors that can be adjusted using the rotational mechanism on the robot. A carbon fiber rod inside of the connectors helps to reinforce them. The 3D printed bidirectional rods and gears on the robot were developed using the method shown here. The truss can be locked in and out of place by the robot, as shown in this animation. The electronic systems of the robot include a reflectivity sensor that allows it to detect its location on a beam, as well as the software to control it. This is handled by a sensor I.O. board, a CM2 Plus microcontroller, Dynamixel servo motors, and an onboard battery. 